okay, um, la last season, pretty good year for you, uh, wire to wire, long 162 game season. How did that feel at the end of it? Pretty good, you know, there were some ups and downs and, um, you know, it reminded me how tough pitching at this level can be. Uh, nothing's handed to you, so, I, but the thing was I stayed healthy, um, my stuff stayed pretty consistent all year, you know, the results were a little up and down, but I think that happens in any bullpen, any bullpen role, so, um, got some things I took away from it that I definitely think I can do better and uh, have some more success with this year, so, got some goals in mind and some things to work on and I'm excited about it. You guys got some experience in that bullpen for bringing in Alex Colomay. Some of the guys got experience last year. The end of the game, how does that feel as a group for you guys? I think it's pretty good, man. I think we got, you know, four to five kind of interchangeable parts um, that you can mix and match and, and uh, you know, line us up with hitters that, that we line up well against. And, you know, I think we're all – Ready to pitch the ninth, ready to pitch the eighth, the seventh, whatever, whatever happens. Um, it's a good problem to have, I think, having guys who have closing experience, setup experience, um, all in that same bullpen. So it's going to be good. Do you have a bunch of guys like that? Do you treat this as a competition for the ninth inning, eighth inning, whatever? Or do you treat it as? Uh, I think it's a. You, just pitch? you know, I view it as. I don't want to say I'm ha just happy to be here, but I want to be a part of a winner. And I want to pitch my. I want to pitch well myself. And if everybody around me is pitching well in that bullpen, or you got two or three other guys that are really, really throwing the ball well, and that leaves me in the seventh or the eighth, or like, I'm, I'm happy with that. Um, I love the ninth inning. It was, it was a lot of fun to be able to do it the last couple of years. Um, if that's the role, then I'm ready for that too. So, um, I think that's the thing. We got three or four guys that can do it, and um, as long as we're all throwing well, it's, I think we're going to be pretty happy. <laughs> you know. Um, chasing three kids around uh, pretty much every day. A lot of carpool um, and then squeezing in my workouts, you know, in the mornings when they were at school. So um, it was good. It went fast. It goes really fast when you got that many little little kids running around. Uh, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, last year was the first time you came to the pitch majorly. Yeah. What was that experience like here? Oh, it was unbelievable. Um, it was, I don't know if they fully grasped it, but. I think toward the end of the year, my oldest, who's six now, he just he started to appreciate it and realize how cool it was. They love the experience, so um, I think as they get older, it'll kind of set in more. And my wife and I have just enjoyed enjoyed every minute of it. So six, four, and two. Are they here? They're coming today, actually. Yeah, they'll be here for the next week or two. I just, how did it change for you last year, having you know being a dad now? How do you think about parents when you were younger in the major league? keeps things in perspective you know um, I think when you're single or, or when I was married with no kids it was like you come home and whatever happened in the game kind of sits with you for a while or it can and um, having a kid that greets you at the door or you wake up to the next morning it kind of makes the that feeling go away a lot quicker uh, which I think is a good thing you know people talk about having a short memory in this game and it, it definitely helps with that just puts it in perspective makes you realize like you know, yeah, that game was not didn't go the way I wanted, but at the end of the day, we're playing a game. You know, and uh, it's a good reminder sometimes that, that we need. Does the six-year-old give us hate you in the living room? Give us emotion. He tries. He, he's he, we're working on it. Yeah, he's he's um yeah he's he likes baseball. He likes it for like different reasons though. I haven't got him like he's not he's not a Shasin's kid that wants to take a hundred swings a day. He's, he's more like into the, I don't know, he, he likes the whole experience, like, I don't know. So we'll see how, uh, what, what part of the game he gets drawn to this year, but it's fun to watch. One more for me, and I'll get up. You guys had a really rough start to last season. The rest of it overall played a little bit better. Do you feel like you're, you're that team that kind of finished the season, maybe just need to take a step forward? Yeah, I think there was some fluky – a fluky kind of bad streak there at the beginning. Um, I don't think we were playing that poorly. The offense took a minute to get going. Um, but yeah, I think we're, we're, we're taking away from like, I don't remember the date, it was like in May or June, that we really took off and we were like right in the mix with a lot of really good teams in this league. You know, I think we were over 500 from June 1st on or something like that. So um, 
we're looking at ourselves like that's where we should form our ide our identity. It's like we have the ability to be that team for 162. And I mean, you come in a few games over 500, you got a chance at a wild card right now. So that's I think that's what's on our minds is is competing for that. And given given the uh, the three big boys at the top of the division, you know, a hard time all year. Um, starting pitching was super reliable. Um, you knew what you're going to get. You're going to get, you know, six innings of quality baseball and probably hand over a, a close game or a lead. Um, bullpen was, we were pretty consistent there for, I want to say June, July was really good. Um, you know, and the offense just, they put it together. They scored enough runs and we got big hits when we needed them. We, we, we got, uh, we did little things, moved guys over well and we caught the baseball in the field. So. It was like fun, all around fundamental baseball. I think the starting pitching kind of led the way. Yeah. Well, I love that guy. We, so we were in AAA in 2012 together, 10 years ago. I was on the way down. He was on the way up. Um, so he was, I mean, I've obviously seen his whole career, but in 2012 he was uh, the flashiest like funnest guy to watch I'd ever seen in the field, but he still was making errors kind of. Um, he'll probably admit the same thing, but it was still like, oh my gosh, if he can just piece it together, he's he's Omar Vizquel, right? He's like, he's a top five defender just watching the ability. And um, he, I think it was a year or two after that, he went to Detroit and like figured out how to hit. And I was like, dude, this now he's, he's got it. Like he's got everything and he's, he's pieced together a really awesome career and he's, Unbelievable guy. Uh, I've been impressed with him since the day I met him 10, 12 years ago. Um, so it was, it was good to reunite with him. Talk about what that kind of guy does to help the staff. Yeah, I mean, like I said, he's, he's fun to watch. I mean, he's like a magician with his hands. Um, but he also, like, brings an energy. You know, I, I remember that from 2012, and I know he's done it with other teams since he's gotten to the big leagues. Um, just brings a, a fun energy. He's got a smile on his face. Um, he's a competitor. So uh, I'm, I'm really excited to play with him.